In this clip, we are going to issue components to complete the first assembly routing stage of our production order. We have already released the production order and set the routing date calculation to start date forwards. We now need to change the status of the routing stage to in progress and then issue its components. This will allow us to manage the production order for each step. In this step, we are working on the routing stage one and therefore it is in status in progress. We can now update the production order. Next, we are going to issue the components for routing stage one in order for the assembly of the laptop to go ahead. To do this, we simply right click on the production order and select issue components. This will open the issue components selection criteria screen. There are different possibilities to target components that have an issue method of manual for routing stage one. You can select your issue components by routing sequence, by selecting a specific sequence for issuing components, by routing stage, but you need to note that the routing stage may appear multiple times within a production order, and this will select all of those instances. You can select the status, whether it's planned or in progress, or by item, resource, or warehouse, for example. We're going to select routing sequence one. This will open up the issue for production window with the relevant components already chosen in the document. All of the items of manual issue are listed here and the relevant quantities for the production order. We can now add the issue for production document to the system. Back in the production order, now that we have issued the components, under the issued column you can see that all of these components have been issued with the relevant quantities. It is now the following day, and now the start and end dates for Route Stage 1 are now in red, and this is because these dates are now in the past. We can now change the status of our Routing Sequence 1 to complete. And now we can update the production order. Under the Summary tab, we have two drill down arrows, one to view the actual item cost components and another to view a total variance report. Let's drill down into the actual item component cost. This provides a stock posting list by item and provides a list of all the items issued and the costs for each item. You can also drill down into the transactions that were added to issue these components to production. Let's drill down into the total variance report. This shows a list of all of the item components issued, and this is depicted by the negative quantity. We have now demonstrated how to issue components to complete the first assembly routing stage of our production order.